Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we're reacting to internal sources. Mufti Mech. Guys, I've always said this in the video, in my video about Mufti Mech. He is the man I respect because I feel he talks from. He talks about his religion and he talks based on knowledge. Like, I love most of the things he says. Like, he says things that you can accept. But let's get straight into this. Allah is making things easy for you and I. But why is it that the more Allah makes things easy, the lazier we become? When Allah is giving you so much of ease, you have hot water from the tap, you have electricity, you have so much facility, you have such a lovely masjid, you have better clothing, you have a better vehicle or a motorbike or a car or a bicycle. But Salatul Fajr, we are sleeping. Is it fair? It's not fair. Salatul Fajr, we are what? We are what? Look, everyone is saying they are sleeping. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Be careful. That was examination question. You failed question number one. You are supposed to say we are awake. Salatul Fajr, we are what? Allahu Akbar. Now we are learning. Inshallah. MashaAllah. Salatul Fajr, we are awake. We want to fulfill salah for Allah, the sake of Allah. Rak'ata al Fajri khayrun min al dunya wa ma fiha. The two units of Salatul Fajr, the Sunnah before Farad, is better than the whole world and whatever it has. It's better than everything you have. And you know the caller who calls for Salatul Fajr adds one sentence into the Adhan. What is that sentence? Akbar. Have you heard that? Have you heard that? You want to say it with me? Salah is better than sleep. Salah is better than sleep. Who is saying this? It is taught by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was given revelation from Allah to remind us, Come to success. You want success? You want happiness? You want joy? You want contentment? Allah says the solution is to come to pray. If you are connected with Allah, Allah has the key to the door of your success. Hayya ala al-falah. Come to success. Who is telling you come to success? Wallahi, it is your maker, Allah. Allah. So if you really think you are successful, but you don't pray, in actual fact, you are not successful. Your business is flourishing, but you don't pray. There is no success. You have so many nice things, but you don't pray, no success. But if your business is okay and your salary is okay, I can just manage to buy my food and pay my rent, few things, and I am praying five times a day, Wallahi, you are better than the one who has a beautiful bungalow, but he doesn't pray. Because this world is temporary. You die, I die. Your money will not help you, mine will not help me, unless I did what Allah told me to do with that money. When I am humble and I respect people and I fulfill my prayers and I have a connection with Allah and I worship Allah alone and I try my best to follow the sunnah of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that is true success. That is true success. When Allah speaks about success, He speaks about all these good qualities and habits. Never ever did Allah connect eternal success with the amount of money you have because it is temporary. Guys, that's true. I feel God does not come. Like your source is not about the money you have. I feel your source is about the life you've reached, life you've touched, things you have accomplished. Like people you have helped, you connecting to God. Yes, I, I feel that's where you find success and you find happiness. And I really pray that is the way of prayer communication between you and God. 
when you pray, you communicate with God. You you like focus your mind on Him and Him alone. Most of when we pray, we ask. But I believe when we pray, we should be thanking. But like this video is actually amazing based on the fact that he was actually the first test was actually funny, but like him actually motivating people. I feel I can say he no, I, I won't say motivating people. He's telling you what it said that you should do. And I feel it goes both ways. Christian haters, like I won't say haters. <laughs> it goes for Muslims and Christians. Because you need to pray. Like, that is something that I believe everyone needs to do. If you're religious, you need to pray. It's something you are supposed to do. It's supposed to be constant. It's not once a day. It's not five. Okay, once I pray five times a day, but like, we Christians believe that you have to pray without season. Like, you pray. Communicate with your father. Like, always pray. Jesus always prayed. So, inherit that habit to always pray. Okay, I think what you think about this video, that's just to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.